Theater. This is Jack, his mom, and their cow, Javier. Sup? Whilst once a great provider of milk, old Javier now struggled to produce a single drop. Jack, take Javier to the market. Fetch a good price for him, too. Jack pleaded. Isn't this job more suited for a grown-up? But she must have had a ton of stuff going on, and off to market they went. Oh, this sucks. 46 miles later, Jack came across a mysterious stranger. Nice looking cow, kid. How much do you want for it? After an intense negotiating montage, Jack sold Javier to a cow-hungry weirdo for just four beans. All because the dude said they were magic. Hmm, that's why there should have been a grown-up there. Upon his return, Jack's mom was furious. You could have easily got five magic beans. And she grabbed those allegedly magic beans in her furry little paw yes! and she whipped them out the window. Jack could hardly sleep a wink that night. Truly tough times at the Rodriguez residence. <laughs> the next morning, whoa. I know the sketchy dude said they were magic, but whoa. Stretching to the heavens stood the third tallest beanstalk they'd ever seen. And being a monkey, he's just gotta climb this thing. At the very top, Jack came across the most architecturally stunning castle he had ever seen. Nice. The place was huge, as you can tell from the size of the store and these other everyday items. Oh man. Then out of nowhere, a chicken with a golden egg. Jack thought of his poor mother and said, I'm gonna eat that chicken. He was halfway to the beanstalk when suddenly, There stood the biggest, most ridiculous stuffed animal he had ever seen. Fee fi fo fum. What? I smell the blood of an Englishman. Well, that didn't make any sense. What a sentence. What followed was a nearly impossible to film chase down the beanstalk. Jack got there first and grabbed his axe. So I guess they lived happily ever after. I, I don't know what the moral of the story is. Maybe something about the cow? Stuffy Theater! Submit your own videos at StuffyTheater.com